What's up guys and welcome this is back to another tutorial with a chicken. I don't know where that chicken just come from. He just decided to invade my video. But anyway, let's say you're making an adventure map. You're making a little bit of a parkour course on it. Say for instance something like this and uh, it might be a bit lengthy and you might not have a way of resetting the place. So for instance they could fall down here. So let's just simulate that. We like to simulate. So let's say there's the end and they go oh shit! They have to go all the way back to the beginning, don't they? Now that's not enjoyable for the person playing your map. So to get around this, there is a way to fix that. Which is with a command that detects it. I'll show you how it works now. And then you can... We'll, sh we'll go through all the commands in a moment. So to achieve that, we have a command there. Basically, it will test for a player. So I've got two there. One for this gold area, one for the diamond area. Ignore the blocks. This is just there to signify the boundaries. So from anything inside this little cube here, we'll get teleported back onto this stage here. Uh, so I'm gonna show you this now. So let's say someone's parkouring up here and we say, oh shit, I fell. They can go back to the beginning of that stage. Likewise, for the second stage, let's say someone gets as far as here and then the end platform's out and they're like, oh shoot, I fucked up. Wait, it's okay. I can do it again, and they can fuck up again. So to achieve all of this, we have this little command here. So we we'll scroll to this side. So this will execute brawl entities. Now both sets of blocks are the same. So this and this are the same. The only thing that differs is the coordinates. So that's something you're going to be setting up on your own map. But for this, all it does is test for entity at 773Y4Z-300. So that coordinate there is this here. Now it's always important you have this in the lowest minus coordinate, if that makes sense. So the reason for that is the next stage of this coordinate is DX, DY, DZ. That means depth on the X, depth on the Y, and depth on the Z. And it can only ever add, it can never subtract. So I can't put, for instance, minus 11 on that. It would not work. Likewise on this, I couldn't put minus, minus 10 or whatever. And on the same for the Z, you could not put minus six. So for this, it will detect an entity that is between the Z773 plus 11. So that will be 784. Y4 and um, depth for zero. It doesn't need to be higher than one block for that. And I'll show you why in a moment. And then for the Z coordinate minus 300 plus 6 is minus 294. So between those coordinates, this is what this is represented by here in this gold area. So any entity that enters that area, it's like a, you know, I can't even walk, walk to it from the side without teleporting to that block there. I said, did that there? See, we'll get teleported to that block. Right. Likewise, with this, it's a bigger area, but it's this exact same principle for it. So this will test for an entity at 757, 4 minus 300 is this block here. And then the depth is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I've added 6 into there because I just thought I could. But you can put as wide or as narrow as you need for your map. Uh, that is pretty much in a nutshell how that works. So there we go. There's not much else to explain. Uh, the, the only other thing to probably put past you is you don't need to make the depth any bigger than it needs to be. So, so let's say, for instance, there's nothing there. Now, the, the coordinates are still there. The coordinate is still set on this Y coordinate. So you don't have to worry about putting it all the way down. The reason for that is if I turn these back on, if you still walk into them, you will still get teleported to here. You cannot jump through that barrier. So if I try to go through it, it will still teleport me. So you do not have to worry about putting any sort of block down there. It will always do that for you. And I think this will save a lot of people a lot of our taking a lot of maps because this is a very, very simple setup to do. Just inserting this right here, I forgot to mention. So this is repeat and conditional. Need redstone, doesn't have to need redstone. You can always have it always active, just for the sake of the tutorial, I put it as needed redstone. Secondly, this just teleports you to the start, so it's simply a TP command. 
and it says it's a chain, it says conditional and it's always active. All you need to do is make sure the command block is within a chunk loaded range. Very, very important. You could possibly hide it in the design of your little parkour challenge, but this is simply it. It'll be linked down below in the description so if you want to do this yourself, it is very easy to do. And if you've got any problems achieving this, just comment down below in the video and I will try and help you as best I can. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this um, video tutorial has been useful. If it has, please leave a rating. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for more tutorials. And goodbye.